Hi, I'm Lisa Salt with the Salt Fowler team at Remax Vernon, and it's New Year and it's tax assessment time. So just wanted to let you know, if you've received your tax assessment, probably it's either gone up, probably by a lot, or it might have gone down, or it might have there's a few cases I've heard of where it's actually stayed the same. But for the most part, your tax assessment, you know, a lot of people think that a tax assessment means that's what the market value of their property is, but in fact, that isn't the case. You don't know for sure what the market value is until you actually talk to a realtor and look at the comparables around in your neighborhood. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, the one thing and the main thing is, um, when was the last time the tax assessor was in your house? Probably it could have been when it was brand new or it hasn't been for 10 or 20 or maybe never. Um, so how do they know if you've done any improvements or, or not done any improvements on the opposite end of the scale? But uh, for the most part, um, market value is all about how much a willing buyer is willing to pay for your house and how much a willing seller is willing to take. So the tax assessment is looking at a period of time, well actually a specific date and time. If you look on this form, you'll see important dates. And it says July 1st, that's the assessed value is estimated for most type of properties as of this date. So your assessed value is as of July 1st of last year. It's already this year. So it's already behind the eight ball, behind the market. And then October 31st, assessed value reflects property's physical condition as of that date and permitted uses. So if anything's changed since then, your value could have changed up, down, whatever. So the other thing that you should know about your tax assessment, February 1st is the deadline for filing appeal, an appeal. So if you feel that your house has been way over assessed, then you know, give us a call. Maybe we can give you some ideas as to what other houses in the area have sold for because that's what they're going to be looking at. And maybe you can make a case to increase or decrease your assessed value, which would therefore decrease your taxes for 2016. Saying that, if the assessed value is way lower, if you're not going to sell, well then live with it because that's what you want to pay the least amount of taxes as you possibly can. Any questions, please be sure to give us a call 250-549-SALT or visit our website at www.saltfowler.com.